rabbits and dados, dados and rabbits, rabbits and dados. Welcome back to the channel and my shop and the ongoing adventure of the 18th century chest of drawers bill. But before we get started on this video, I'd like to talk about a tool I bought. And I saw a review of it, and the review kind of impressed me, and I thought I'd give it a chance. This is from Going Make. They're available on Amazon. They seem to be the newcomer. I don't know how long they've been around, but a newcomer in, in precision China tools, Chinese tools. When I say precision, this thing was well made, very well made. First and foremost, it's matte powder coated, but still gives a precision fit. So I guess they figured the powder coating into the final design. This is the inch model, so it's all inches. Uh, it comes with, you know, it's color, little color instructions you can actually read and understand. It, uh, it even gives you the, the, the order within which you tighten these uh, flatheads to, to put the T onto the bar. It has uh, that shoulder right there. That, when you put it on your workpiece, like this, it can't tip this way and that way. It's, it's solid. Some of them, you know, they don't have that. They go right up against the side, but it can tip. Small thing, I know. But one of the interesting bits is this, uh, these holes here, they are incremented in 1 32nd of an inch. And they're good for up to, I think, a millimeter pencil. I use 0.7 millimeter pencils. I don't, the red guys are all 0.5. And you can't use a 0.7. And 0.5s, I think, are just a bit too fragile to work on with wood. And 0.7 seems to work out fine. Um, OK, the purpose of this video, what I'm doing now is I'm, oh, by the way, it comes in, it comes very, very nicely packaged with all kinds of foam. Uh, I'm setting the lines for the dados. They're going to hold the, the, side, the door pockets. Um, I have my drawing. And on the center measurements, well, not so much the center, but the inside measurements you see are the uh, distance between the, uh, the, 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 uh, the dividers, which gives you basically the depth of the door pocket. The important ones for today are the dimensions on the right-hand side. Those are incremented from the very bottom of, of the side, and they're incremented in up from that one datum line, from the bottom. So you kind of can't screw up if you follow those. If you try to just do, oh, measure up eight and a half, and then measure up, then do three quarters, and another eight and a half, and then do three quarters, um, you're going to lose. It's going to, it's going to, you're not going to get it perfect and accurate every time. This way, when you when you do the measurement, you measure up, and you say, okay, the first one is nine and a half, the next one is eighteen and three quarters, and then you draw your line. For measuring, I've mentioned this before on the channel. This is from FastCap. This is a right, lefty, righty, lefty, flat back. What I mean is the tape is flat, dead flat, like this. And the clip at the end doesn't move. It's, um, it it, it doesn't, doesn't slide like in, a, in, in one of the curved ones. So the dimension remains the same. And you only measure in one direction. You only measure, you only, you only measure on the inside of the tape. You can't push it up against something and get an accurate measurement. It's very springy. So I bring it over here and I'll lock it. Hey, there goes the box. And this is what I this so I put it right about here. And now it's flat, so you can actually lay the t, lay the T right on top of it. And my first measurement is nine and a half inches. I'm gonna take the T, make sure the tape is nice and tight, bring it to nine and a half inches. Just like that, make my and make draw my line. The next measurement is eighteen and three quarter. So we're going to go up to eighteen, eighteen and three quarter of an inch. There. Pull it tight. Make sure I got it right. And that's 18 and 3 quarter.
Okay, so there's the, those are my measurements. That's where I'm going to cut the dados. And he, here's the thing. I've pretty much decided I'm going to do the, uh, the front bars that are going across the front dividers that are going across the during cherry are going to be that shouldered dovetail joint on either end. So I can run the, dove, I can run the dado all the way through, which would be about an eighth of an inch deep or three sixteenths of an inch deep, depending. And then cut the piece of wood that's going to go over that and then stick it in the, in the dado and then draw my dovetail on the sides. Uh, so I'll do the dovetail on the end of the piece of wood first. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Anyhow, so there's drawer one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Drawer one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So the, the top drawers are tiny little things and they, they end at where the top sits here at this end, the, when it's in place, the two smaller drawers are here and over here where the other piece of wood is not. So let me draw the other one up and we'll go from there and, and start working out how we're going to do these dados accurately. One last thing I did was there's a rabbet at the back of the sides where the back of the cabinet is going to go, so the, the boards that cover the back of the cabinet. Not necessary, but and it's all part of the deal. And I, I use my new square, of course, at the half inch increment to go ahead and slide along with a pencil in here and drew that line. So now I know where the rabbit needs to go so it's in the right place. <laughs> I have a story, quick story. I, put, uh, I did a piece here a few years ago and I needed a rabbit in the back and I rabbited the sides and I rabbited the one, I rabbited them both on the same side, so rabbited one on the inside and one on the outside. So I had to take the one that I did the wrong rabbit on and sand the other side of it so it would get to get, go together and look right. So this way, I know where the rabbit's going to go on the inside of each piece, and I hopefully won't make that error again. Let's cut the uh, dados. Oh, can you tell it's a different day? Let's cut the dados on the insides for the backing the backing of the cabinet. And I marked them very, very carefully. So I mentioned in the previous segment how I accidentally cut the dados on the wrong end, wrong side of one of my previous projects. So let me show you the setup of how I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it with a dado. It's set up my, I have my, uh, the dado that most people hate to use on a saw stop. I, pff, I'm not going to go into, there's a video on my channel about how it works on a saw stop and how well it works. Anyhow, that aside, I have my sacrificial fence in place. I set it up to the one half inch depth this way and three eighths inch depth into the wood for the cut. I have my Easy Swan extension, link in the description, and a roller out here because it's a big piece of cherry. And what I plan to do is just very carefully push it through, cutting out the rabbit not dado, rabbit for the back of the cabinet. Now I have a different possible plan for doing the dados for the dividers. And I'm going to uh, suss that out a little bit more and I'll do those uh, a little later on. But let's go ahead and make some rabbits. And of course, ear protection. go. There's the uh, rabbit where the back of the cabinet is going to sit like this. It's a half inch deep. We're using a half inch stock and it uh, is three eighths inch deep in this dimension and just goes across. And if I do this period correct, what I'll have is boards that go horizontally across because that's a lot, how a lot of them were done. And also, they were done vertically, but more horizontally because expansion and contraction this way with a vertical board is problematic, where expansion and contraction this way and horizontal grain going horizontally is not such a big, 
big problem. You just make sure you get your fasteners in the place where you're going to let the wood do this. A little bit of gap. Somewhere doesn't even shiplap. Ew. Rabbit stun dados next. Uh, process I've decided to do is not with the router and a jig, although it worked last time. On smaller projects, I've done it this way. On the table saw with the dado stack. So the way it works is I'm going to take the workpiece, set the depths in the fence, which I've got a new drawing that gives me those correct dimensions, to where I want the dado to be, and then run it across, bring the second piece over, run it across, and they're both be, those dados are going to be in the same place. Right now I've got uh, my miter gauge and a roller over here for when I'm way over here, but as I move the workpiece down further on the saw, I don't need those anymore. I can just run it against the fence by hand. So um, that's how I'm going to do the dados. So as they say occasionally, cue the time lapse. And there we are. So the small drawers, the two small drawers are up here. The rest are full drawers. These will be drawers are about this big, tiny. You know, socks in one, underwear in the other, I don't know. But the dados are cut. And so for, for all intents and purposes right now, the sides are done. I have to cut out, I'm going to cut out some more parts. I'll show you those in a minute that go into these. But the sides are pretty much done. I can actually assemble this in a clamped, a clamped, so I'm going to start fitting parts that are going to go inside it, which are the dividers and things like that. So let's, uh, let's cut some more wood out, and then uh, um, I'll show you what that's for, and we'll move on from there. What I just cut out... These are the cross pieces. They're going to go, they're going to have the dovetails at the end, which are going to be let into the sides, give that dovetail reveal here, and it's going to separate the drawer boxes. And I need one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I need six. Hold on. One, two, three, four. I need one more. I just happen to have another piece of uh, cherry right here I can use for that. And there are my six cross pieces for the, for the drawer boxes. Anybody want some sapwood? Some cherry sapwood? I got some cherry sapwood here. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, like I said, the sides are done. I can start doing the mock-up and figuring out how I want to do all the, the dovetail joints correctly. I think what it's going to be is um, this will get cut down to fit into the dados. And then there'll be a little nubbins here, which within which I will cut the dovetail. And I'll slide it into the workpiece, mark where the dovetails are going to go, and I may have to do those dovetails by hand. Oh, shame. Anyhow, I think uh, that's going to be it for now. Um, short video again. I'm trying to keep these more bite-sized because I make some long damn videos. So until next time, of course, make great things out of wood. And... Uh, and make make something out of cherry and make some 18th century. See ya.